Hi, this is Jamie Stoker with Web Comics Reviews and Interviews, and this is a mini podcast. We're going to be dealing with writer's block. So sit back, relax, and let the geek fest begin. I don't care how good of a writer you think you are, but eventually, at some point in time, you're going to be dealing with good old fashioned writer's block. You're going to be a major frustration, and the fun part is that frustration is actually going to cause you to be more blocked. That block is going to cause you to be even more frustrated, which will cause more blockage. Which and you get the idea. It's frustrating and it basically creates a really nasty feedback loop. So what you need to do is figure out a way to bust out of that feedback loop. So let's discuss a few ways of well dealing with writer's block. Either how to avoid it completely or if you do happen to get it, how to get rid of it. Alright, before we get really going hardcore, keep in mind that Writer's block in itself may not be a bad thing. Occasionally what's causing the writer's block is subconscious saying, hey, this just isn't working. Stop, figure it out, and then you'll be able to go forward. A lot of writers will tell you this really cool phrase called kill your darlings. All it means is that occasionally you'll do something really, really cool, get really, really excited about it, and then realize it doesn't work. Or worse yet, In order to make it work, it would require a lot more work. So, you've got two options. You can either delete the thing completely, or you can shelve it and put it in for later. Relative to what you're doing currently, however, this means that either you've got to completely thrash whatever you're working on just because it's totally not working, or you need to figure out backtrack and delete to wherever that point is, or how to build up to that, build something up, or basically modify what you have. Keep in mind that by, you're going to hate having to kill anything because you put all this blood, sweat, and tears into it, but don't sweat it. It's part of the process. Every writer has to go through it. You know, every writer will have an entire collection of darlings that they've killed. It's just unfortunately a part of the process. Sometimes things just aren't working out and you need to either stop, move on, or figure out really quick how to deal with it. And straight up, if you can't figure out how to deal with it, just trash it. There's no, unless there's no real loss of pride here. It's a, just part of the process. Mourn it if you have to, but move on. That said, the easiest way to deal with writer's block is to basically keep writing at the same time for the same amount of period each day. If you get going at 9 o'clock, cool. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, cool. 10 o'clock at night, great. Just remember to start at the same time each time and go for the same amount of time each day. You go a little bit over, cool. But try to keep going for the same, at least the minimum amount. And it doesn't matter if you're actually writing or if you're doing outlines or you're doing brainstorming or you're doing research. As long as you're doing something that moves the writing forward, you're doing good. So if you end up having a writing session where all you do is get this really cool brainstorming thing about how two of the characters' costumes work and you don't get any actual writing done, hey, you've done good. You've done something. You've accomplished something. You're good to go. However, in order to get past the writer block, keep in mind it also helps to keep the area around you nice and organized. Generally speaking, the fewer distractions, the better. Um, If necessary, go out and talk to people. You know, have hobbies. You're allowed to. Go play cards. Go go to a meetup. You know, go lose yourself on social media or something. Just something that allows you to interact with some people, at least on some level. Uh, For other people, going out and getting some exercise. You know, yeah, as a writer, you're going to be cooped up in the same area. Sometimes just taking a quick 20-30 minute walk instead of writing tends to work wonders. Other people tend to be a lot more extreme. If you have to do an Ironman marathon to feel good about yourself, and if necessary, read or watch TV. You'd be surprised how well that inspires you to actually do stuff as well as allows you to keep track of what's going on. So, you know, don't sweat 
writer's block if you hit it. Figure out what the problem is. If you can't, go distract yourself for a little while. At any rate, good luck, and I'll talk to you later. This has been a mini podcast of webcomic reviews and interviews. It's on Thursdays at, from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Times on k4hd.com. Come by and sit and listen to us.